Greetings everyone, this is Lucian Vosan with the Freedom Alternative broadcasting from Amman, Jordan. So yeah, I promised I'll make a short video uh, from here, but I also found the best spot to do it because you can see most of the city uh, behind me. Uh, so, first impressions. There are no pedestrian crossings in this city. So, you know, in the past I made a lot of references for, um, for and regarding um, chaotic traffic. And I usually reference Tirana and Istanbul as examples of really chaotic travel traffic. I take back uh, the words I said about Tirana. Uh, yes, Tirana has a relatively chaotic traffic, but this place takes the cake. I mean, this place beats Istanbul and definitely beats Tirana hands down. And any other city in Europe? Pff, petty amateurs when it comes to uh, chaotic traffic. Now I would have liked to uh, put my Jordan shirt for this uh, video but I would have looked like a local. The, this is another thing that I haven't seen in too many places I've been. Uh, the locals actually wear shirts with Jordan so as a result I had to keep my Ukraine cap so I can signal that I'm a tourist and there is a reason why you should signal that you're a tourist because uh, some of the things don't apply to you if you are a tourist. Um, one of the things that does apply to you is the prices of cigarettes which is turned out to be cheaper than uh, uh, I have expected but also uh, not of uh, significantly uh, great quality. All right some of the nice things uh, about this place uh, yeah the weather is fantastic I mean it, it really is uh, by October standards it's awesome absolutely awesome uh, the people are significantly nicer than you would have thought at the first glance seriously uh, whenever you need help it's really easy to get it most people here understand the English language they are not particularly fantastic most of them in replying properly you have to ask them twice or throw or sometimes three times until you understand what they mean but you know slowly even the older people they're starting to uh, get around to making themselves understood in English which is nice that kind of effort uh, should be appreciated also the place is remarkably safe and uh, I stress this for two reasons first of all is well it kind of makes sense to me and the second reason is because uh, uh, some of the uh, patrons of this channel uh, they were only half joking when they said well if you survive your true your Middle Eastern tour then we'll, we maybe we can do this or that and whatever seriously people it's really nowhere near that dangerous it's just not uh, Except for the traffic again I mean if you're um, if you're walking too much then uh, yes I guess uh, you would be in a, a, a bit of danger but otherwise no it's actually quite tolerable all right uh, what other things I'm supposed to say uh, yeah the, the, this city has its own uh, basically food court so if you want to go anywhere uh, to have something to eat that is uh, well almost anything you have to go into the food court of the city there is a, a huge street with restaurants on both sides and whatnot and malls and shopping centers and all the rest you can eat there if you want to eat anywhere else like I don't know in the city center tough luck uh, there aren't many uh, food joints um, available in the, in the city center which means well I got um, I got in a bit of trouble though, because I you know I I friend the place that is very close to the city center thinking in logical terms that well if it's close to the city center then that means most of the attractions of the city should be there well yes and no I mean the, the place I'm here now is uh, well on the map it looks like it's close to the city center in reality it's up on one of the 19 hills that constitute uh, Amman city the city proper not a metropolitan area that's a whole different ball game uh, so yeah it is close but not really close I mean it, it's all on a hill somewhere and it's all uh, with huge stairs I mean it's comparable with the hill that I've shown to you from Budapest Hungary except that here there are 19 of those it's not just one uh, and the stairs are really abrupt speaking of abrupt stairs I've placed on social media two pictures with myself uh, on and be in the front of the Roman theater that place is really abrupt and it's basically, basically survival of the fittest I mean if you can climb it up that's fantastic if you can't well tough luck I mean the Emperor who built it probably hated your people <laughs> uh, in any event <clears throat> So yeah, uh, there's that. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, uh, tomorrow, well I guess today when you will be seeing this video, depending on the internet connections, which are really not that bad, but obviously worse than they are in Romania. But um, soon enough I'm heading towards Petra and uh, 
I'll be keeping the promise that I made to y'all and showing you a, a nice ancient city that, uh, well, until very recently, few people even knew it, it even exists anymore, but it does, it, it is continuously uh, inhabited and has been for uh, close to 2,000 years. So yeah, uh, right around, uh, well, to my left, and I guess to your right, the way you're looking, uh, there is also another um, uh, remnants of the Roman civilization. So right behind me, downhill somehow, is a Roman theater built uh, 1900 years ago. Then there's Hercules column, uh, again to my left, I'll show it to you. Um, well, you're looking at it now. And um, yeah, so there are a lot of things uh, left from the previous civilization that used to rule this land. Uh, and it's a good, nice thing that uh, they're still standing because I, at least we get to see them. Uh, there have been others throughout the Middle East, but some of them sadly no longer stand. And we all know why that happened. Uh, anyway, uh, political research is not going that for t particularly well, but it has been uh, progressing. Well, then again, I've only been here 48 hours, so there's plenty of time. To, of time to uh, get that around but yeah well, obviously all of those things uh, I'll be mentioning um, at the end of the tour when I'll be uh, back to Cluj-Napoca so yeah the, the plan goes um, pretty much as planned I mean there haven't been too many big surprises um, some of them uh, the, the surprises that have been uh, some of them turned out to be uh, pleasant ones namely that things ended up costing slightly less than predicted uh, others of course have uh, been uh, the other way around things turned out to be costing more than predicted but overall things are going well and yeah that's a hint for you to give shekels because this this tournament is really uh, turning out to be um, quite expensive but uh, it's it will totally be worth it uh, particularly the portion uh, with Israel but also this portion because uh, I've already gathered up a, a little bit of notes and uh, in the next four or five days while I'll still be here I'll be gathering a lot more notes and um, there will be quite a lot quite uh, there will be quite a lot of information Informative content for you uh, without um, with regards to the geopolitics of this area because obviously I'll be uh, very interested in that too all right so that's basically the first and probably the only update here while I'm in Jordan uh, I'm alive it's all okay it's really not an issue uh, and uh, see you all soon I guess in about four or five days depending on how fast I'll be able to upload it because there is a referendum in Romania and uh, it's gonna happen whilst I'm away I'm gonna vote in Tel Aviv so I'm looking forward to make that video and I'll explain then why I've been looking forward to making it all right so with all that being said thank you all for watching I'll see you all soon cheers